how to add a dual colour effect in Photoshop, say red and blue on this side, and how to make it live so you can edit it later. Of course, as with everything in Photoshop, there's hundreds of ways of doing this. I'm going to use my approach for layers. So here's the original image. Go to the layers panel. You see layers panel there, you can find that in the window menu. Then go up to layer and down to new fill layer and gradient. Select that. Gradient fill layer, give it a name and click OK. Now you've got a default gradient. This may be different for you. Style is linear, so it's up and down there. I'm going to put that to zero. So you can see white there and I'll see the transparency. Now I don't want that end result. I'm just going to change this now. So to edit it, just click and it'll bring up the gradient editor. And you can see you've got the stops here. This one, opacity stop or transparency stop. That's set to 100%. This one, this side, I want that to be 100% as well. So I just dragged it up to 100%. It's all 100% now. In this case, I don't want this color. I don't want white. I want red. You could set it to anything. Click OK. And this end one, click it some, and I'm going to go with green, but you could go with blue, yellow, etc. So you can see you've got red and you've got green. Select the green and then go to the center and set it to 50. Just position that one, green and green. Go to the red, the first stop, and do the same. Click there and drag it over to 50%. You don't have to have them exactly on top of each other. I'm just putting them on top of each other. There's still two stops there. You've got red and green on that side. Now this is live, so you can edit it later. If you decide, you know what? I don't want red, I want blue. You can change it very quickly. Now close. So click OK. Now, unfortunately, there's no blending mode in here. It would be nice if the blend mode was available in here, but it's not because you could then sort of try it out. But click OK. And now what you've got is, of course, you've got this layer on top of this image. Of course, you can't see the image, which is not very good. What you need to do, go to blending. So go down here. And instead of that, you can just go through all these. You can try them out. Maybe you decide, oh, I like that one. But the one I'm going for is color. Colors are really good ones. So you can see the red there. You can still see the image. And you've got the green there applied to the image. You can also modify the fill. Let's just make that, reduce that down to about 50. So 50, you don't have to. You could keep it 75, say, to make it very intense. Up to you. Once you've done that, you can then apply other effects. Just go over here to layer, make certain it's selected. That's the key thing. If it's not selected, it will not work, but select it. Then go to layer and down to smart objects and convert to smart object. So it's now that layer has been converting smart object. Smart objects are great because you can edit them at any point and you can apply various effects, which are all editable. So now you can go to filter and go down to blur and Gaussian blur. Use motion blur, radial blur. So you can create some interesting different effects using different blurs. But I'm going to go with Gaussian in this case. And you can see what happens. It blurs that green and the red. And you can change it. Don't have to have it that intense. Maybe go for just a very subtle 9 point or 10 pixels. 37 in this case. And click OK. And you can see you've got the red going all the way through to the green. And it's over here. In the layers panel, you can simply edit it. You can change the Gaussian blur at any time. Double click that, bring up the entry and tweak it. You can also double click this. Just go here, that's a smart object, double click that. And you can go into this and you can see the design again, red and the green. You can see it's set to color. The fill at 83, you can change that if you want. You can also decide, you know what? I don't want red. So double click that, bring up the gradient and then click there. And you can go and say, oh, I'll go with blue. Decide to go for blue instead. And this time, of course, what you've got to do is quickly just move that away and get rid of the red, go to the blue 
click that again, make certain you click that one, and then just now make certain it's selected. You can see the color there, and then go across and set that to 50, all close to it. If you go over, you can see what happens. It goes like that, which is not particularly great, but if you just put it there, you get a slight blurriness around the edge and close. So now we've got blue and green instead. Click OK. Okay, close that. Now you're in a PSB document at this point. That's the smart object. And click and close. And now you can see what you've got. You've got blue and green. And of course you can apply other effects as well. This is the great thing. It's a smart effect, smart filter object. You can go to image and you go to adjustments and you can go down. Let's see which one I was going to go for level say. But you can go for curves, exposure and you can just tweak it. So you can modify that. You can see what happens. That will tweak the colors as well. And you can just change that. You don't have to. And click there. And you've got it all applied. You see levels applied to that gradient fill. And there is a very quick way of applying blue and green or obviously any other combination of color. And you could, if you want, a tri-color design. Simply go to the gradient fill and set up red, blue and green and do exactly the same. And it's still editable, still live. It's not like a brush stroke. It's still not like you can change it at any point. Now, of course, you could do it with other ways of doing this. You could do it with shape layers, so on. There's lots of ways, but this is a really quite quick and easy way of doing it. Hope you found this of interest. Please put in the comments below if you've got any opinions on this, whether there's other methods you think are infinitely much better than this. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you much.